Hey everyone, it's Tracy Tischler, owner of Kickstarter to Kick Ass Life, and today I am talking about makeup over 50, well, beauty over 50. And um, I've had people ask me um, how I wear my makeup, and I tell you, as a makeup artist, I have a lot of makeup. Um, and you would think, I think a lot of people think I spend a lot of money on my makeup, I take a lot of time on my makeup, and I don't. I probably take five minutes in the morning to do my makeup, and so I am sitting here without any makeup on. I just stepped out of the shower, and I have nothing on, and the only thing I have, after I get out of the shower, I put this in my hair. Um, I just got it at Target, and it's called Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Soft Waves Sea Salt Spray. I kind of like to have a bend in my hair, and again, my hair, I blow dry it at night. I usually take a shower at night to save time in the morning, and I kind of just let it air dry. Sometimes I take the straightener, and I'll put a little bend in it, but it's funny, the older I've gotten, the less I do. Um, so I thought I would just do a tutorial on how I do my makeup and how simple it is and how little you really need um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And then I thought um, maybe next time I'll do a more glam look, but this is just what I do every day and it takes me five minutes and I'll show you the products that I use that I basically get at a drugstore. Um, so I start with, it's called Ageless, and it's from CoverGirl. And I am a color, it's 220. So I am going to put my foundation on. And you know what, I still use the wedgies. I know the Beauty Blender is the big thing, and a lot of people love them. I've tried them and I just find them awkward. I don't know, I like how this has the sharp edges and I can get underneath my eye and you can just buy them at Target. I think they're $2 and I get the latex free foam. So, and so the CoverGirl, this is what it looks like. And it's not a lot of coverage, but that's why like, you know, as we get older, our skin tends to be drier. And so that swirl in there is a swirl of moisture so it's more kind of like a tint but you can kind of layer it on if you need more coverage and so i literally just dab that in there and just start putting on and you know i know some people like to start with their eyes and do their um, their eyeshadow because they don't want to get fallout and have to redo it. But I literally don't wear that much makeup, so I don't really worry about that. Okay, and that's really it. And then I just make sure that I get right underneath my chin line so that everything, you don't wanna have a line there so you can see, but this is pretty light. So, step one. And then I go to my eyebrows and I just use, I don't know, the um, lettering has wore off. I think this is Maybelline. You know, it's the standard red brow pencil and it's just like in a light brown. And I literally just kind of make little strokes and just kind of fill them in. I like to have a little more arch. Um, I wanna just basically do that. And eyebrows, I mean, as you can see, uh, you know, the foundation makes a difference, but it's mostly just a tint. But the eyebrows really frame the face and make everything stand out, like my eyes. And so that is what I'm going to do next. And so I just use a bigger brush, eyeshadow brush, 
and I use the Alme, 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 um, and it's three tones, and it's like a lighter. You can see I use the that one mostly, and so I just dab it in, and really just a little bit goes a long way, and I take it all the way over the whole eyelid. And in my normal life, I don't highlight. I don't use all three of them. So, and I spend probably the most time on my eyes because I think personally my eyes are my best feature. And so that's what I want to stand out the most. So it's probably the thing I spend the most time on. And then uh, to line them, I use this CoverGirl pencil. And uh, it's in a brown. And so I literally just do a little line underneath and then a little line on top. And it's not like really scientific. There we go. And then this middle color here, this middle brown right there. I'll dip this in just a tiny dip. And then I go over that line just to blend it in and make it not so harsh. And then I go into the crease with that of my eye. So I do that on the other side. And then I just take the same and I go underneath and I blend that in. And that's simple. Oh, and then I do have a little trick. I don't contour a lot. I mean, there's no reason to. I see a lot of these beauty gurus and you know they're a lot younger and they go out in these full made up faces with the false eyelashes and stuff. And that's just not me and especially for any normal day or normal place that I'm going. Um, but I do take this, so there's still some of the brown uh, eyeshadow on it. And I just go down either side of my nose and then down. So it's kind of like an L on either side. And what that does is it contours it and it just shades the darker color, just makes my nose look thinner. And so, yeah, I just take it and go like that. And so that's that. And then I'll do my eyelashes. And this is Great Lash. And I know everybody uses this. I use this for my makeup kit. I use this all the time. I've tried other, other, um, it's by Maybelline. I've tried other um, mascaras. And this has just always been like the tried and true that always works out. It doesn't clump. I don't curl my eyelashes. I mean, I don't have super long eyelashes, but I do have long eyelashes. And then I just go on the very bottom and put just a little bit just to cover them. And then I may do just one more. And there's that. And then my powder. So I used it. this. It's Fit Me by Maybelline. And this is in 120. And so I just, you know what, this one is new. And I didn't have it. There we go. I just pat it in, just take a little bit. And I don't want to get too heavy, especially under my eyes. You know, I see the younger beauty gurus um, on YouTube and they do what's called baking, where they put powder then underneath their eyes and let it sit and bake. And then they wipe the powder away. And as a 51 year old woman, I can't imagine letting powder sit in the creases of my eyes 
for five or ten minutes. So I just do kind of a light dusting and I personally don't have circles under my eyes so I don't put anything under there but um, when I do have like a red spot or something maybe I have you know some acne or something um, this is actually just an elf cover-up stick and I'll just go in and just dab it on and then take my finger and just kind of press it in um, and actually what's funny sitting here you know doing this video with no makeup on um, I grew up with cystic acne I actually was on Accutane twice and so I've always been very self-conscious about my skin growing up even when the acne went away um, I still always felt like people were looking at my skin and so it's in it is true as you mature you just care less like I just accept myself as I am now and it's all okay and so then finally um, a little blush and I use this kind of bigger fluffier brush because I don't want to put a lot on and the apples of your cheeks is here you know if you blushed this would be where you naturally blush so I just take a little bit and I just go over where that would be. And then I take it and I kind of go around. And that's it. I don't want it to be too heavy. I want it to look really light and natural. I mean, I'm just going about my day. Uh, and the last thing, oh, I will, this is a must. So I did, I had skin, not only did I have cystic, ac cystic acne, but I had skin cancer, I had basal cell, and it was right under my eye here. And if I look, I mean, I don't even notice it. I had a plastic surgeon do it. Well, a dermatologist um, took a piece of skin uh, to um, test it, and he actually left a hole in my face. And then someone told me that a uh, plastic surgeon does, it's called, well, like the Mohs procedure, but the plastic sur surgeon doesn't do it like that. He goes in, takes pieces, they test it, and then he closes it up, but he sews it from the inside. And so this was like mm, 13 years ago that I had it, but now it's great because actually dermatologists work with plastic surgeons, so they do that now together before if you went to see a plastic surgeon about it, they would want you to do the Mohs procedure. And I, I, I didn't know that a plastic surgeon did it until somebody told me. If it was on my back or something, I would have cared, but something on my face, I cared. And so I love this product. It's called Color Science, and it's actually powdered sunscreen. And so I never go a day without sunscreen. And this one, there's not a lot left because I had bought a new one and I gave the new one to my daughter and I took this one because she's 16 and you know most teenagers won't wear sunscreen you know if it's like a, a cream form or something they I just don't think they're gonna do it but this is just her makeup routine she doesn't wear any makeup and this is what she wears for makeup and it's kind of like a finishing powder too so I literally and I go under my eyes and everywhere and down and there we go on that sunscreen and so um and today i usually don't line my lips all the time if i'm going somewhere where i feel like i just want to feel extra fancy um i will put on its lip liner i think this is a maybelline one too but i always stay close to my natural lip color and so these are my lips normally I have nothing in them and I just follow the line and I don't know if you're anywhere around my age if you remember the Pamela Anderson days where she would line her lips and then fill them in with the lipstick but you would see the eyeliner and I don't want that so I actually 
then fill them in with the color and just a little bit I don't I just want a nice overall color but then the lining of them defines them more and then I'll use this it's called breeze and it's from wet and wild and it's that color just a real kind of light brown color kind of a natural neutral color and that's it I mean I don't know what that take me 10 minutes and that's as I was talking doing it um, but normally it takes me under 10 minutes so I'm gonna dry my hair and I'll come back to show the final outcome and that's it and here's the final outcome I blue dry my hair just a little bit. Actually, some of it is still wet because I didn't dry the whole thing. I mostly just dried the front. And then I put a couple bends in each side just with the straight iron. And that's it. So probably 10 minutes and you are out the door and ready for your day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks and have a great week. Thank you.